Yeah. See, whatever you need, God will supply your every need according to your riches and glory. Yeah. Can you say amen? amen? So when God tell you to go, you don't have to wonder what should you do. You should just pick up your stuff and go. Do I have a witness in here? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have a witness in here? Yeah. Uh, when he heard that it was Jesus, now that he began to cry out for mercy. Somebody say, oh, have mercy, Lord. Bartimaeus had been co contemplating his condition uh, and cultivating the spirit of depression uh, or desperation. Uh, his plea for mercy was a cry of desperation for deliverance. Uh, see, when you need to get delivered from God, you don't have time to be playing with folks. Uh, you ain't got time to be listening to folks and saying, I'll send you away and you can come back next week and we'll get you saved on Sunday. But now it's Wednesday. No, we need to get delivered right now. Amen, somebody. When you need something from God, you don't people are talking about we'll do it later maybe next time uh, give it to God no you need God now uh, and when you need God now you got to shout unto God uh, Jesus I hear you coming back new destiny purpose church uh, and since I'm in the house I'm going to cry out right now do I have anyone here that don't mind crying for God oh my God come on I feel, I feel the spirit in here uh, I don't know what y'all did Saturday but some of y'all seem like y'all tired uh, I told Pastor Don, they should have had some coffee before they came up and get some no dos Amen, somebody. But when I come in the house of God, I come to give God praise. Come on, let's give God praise. But listen, uh, there was a cry that stopped Jesus in his tracks. Uh, the Bible says Jesus stood still. Uh, those who had told him to shut up now said, be of good comfort, rise, he called it thee. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it amazing that uh, the same folks that said you couldn't make it and you weren't good enough, uh, once they see that God didn't call you, they yeah. want to now be on your team? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Larry, I've been there down and dumb. They said I never amount to nothing. Said I wouldn't be no good. Uh, but now since they know the Lord has called me for a purpose and a time is this, uh, now they want to get on the team. Yeah. Uh, amen. People will flip flop on you. Amen. Somebody tell them they'll tell you never be good, no good, and you'll be nobody. Uh, but once they see that God's hand upon your life, uh, they will say, Rise, He called it for thee. Uh, but how many know when God calls you, you don't need no amen. Nobody else will let you know that God calls you. Amen. Amen, somebody. You know, y'all quiet in here. You got to know in your spirit that God had called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing how fast people can change when it will make them look more spiritual. Yeah. Uh, when you was down, they wasn't around. But when God called you uh, and got you up, now they want to say that it was God had a plan for your life. Yeah. Uh, God had a plan for me when I was down. Amen, somebody. Yeah. God had a plan for me when I was broke, busted, and disgusted. Uh -huh. God had a plan for me when I was in the street, Brother Larry. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. God had a plan for me when I didn't have a plan for myself. Uh, God had a plan for me, Brother Tyrone, when I was in my mother's womb. Uh, when I was locked up in jail, God had a plan for me. Uh, when I was selling dope, God had a plan for me. Uh, when I was a homeowner, God had a plan for me. You got to understand, God gift comes without repentance. Uh, he ain't going to repent because he called me. He just going to whoop me enough until I get in line with his word. Can you say amen? Amen. I'll be honest, I've been whooped by man. I've lost many fights, still got scars on my face to prove it. Uh, but I don't mind being whooped by man. I can heal. Uh, but when God get a hold yeah. to you, my God, yeah. you God let me go. I'm going to preach your word. I do whatever you call. Yeah. I told somebody, I said, You don't want God to get a hold of you. Uh, if God didn't call you, I don't care what you think that's holding you back. Uh, I don't care how many people you think that's not on your side. Uh, you got to realize when God called you, if you don't go, God will grab you. And that's one grab you don't want to see. Oh my God, it was about 15 years ago, the 1999, when God grabbed me in my inner stomach. Oh my God, he called me to preach and I wouldn't go. He called me to pass and I wouldn't go. I didn't want no part of this thing they call preaching. I was real happy with doing what I was doing, I'll be honest. Back in that thing, up, dropping it like this hot kiss and everything that had some high heels on. Y'all quiet. I was good with it. Amen, somebody. Some people say, oh, I was tired of myself. Ooh, I wasn't tired, brother. <laughs> I was cool. I was in my 20s. Amen. So a lot of testosterone. No, no way, tired. Amen, somebody. But God called me, and when God called me, I wouldn't go. And God grabbed my inner man. I told God to let's let me go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Because, Tyrone, that's one grab that you don't want to feel. Because once God get a hold of you, God won't let you go until you do what he called you to do. Do I have a witness up in here? 
Because when God has a plan in your life, uh, come on in the front, Pastor Tony. When God has a plan in your life, uh, oh my God, God will not let you do go until you do what he's called you to do. Uh -huh. Do I have a witness up again? Because Jeremiah 29 says, uh, I know the thoughts I think toward you, said the Lord, uh, thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end. Uh, so when I was down and out, broke, busting, and disgusted, uh, God had a plan for my life. Uh, because I, when I was working on my beginning, God had already fixed out the end. Uh -huh. Can you say amen? Huh? And as some folks is going through some things today, huh? don't know what you're going to make and how you're going to make it, huh? and wonder if you're going to ever get out. Huh? I'm going to tell you that God had brought you out before you already got in. <laughs> God delivered you before you need deliverance. God healed you before you even got sick. God set you free before you even got locked up. God cleaned you up before you even got dirty. Y'all real quiet in here. God picked you out the miry clay before you even fell in it. God got you out the hole before you was even in it. Oh my God. Come on, give God glory that God had already did. He said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of peace. And Brother Darren, God got thoughts of peace toward you yeah, and not yeah. thoughts of evil. Yeah. He know what you're going through. Know that he's going to bring you out. Somebody say, God's going to bring me out. And when you know that God has a plan for you, uh, amen, and God has created everyone for a purpose, uh, you don't turn people away that ain't right in the church. Uh, can you say amen? Uh, oh, my God. If they had cared about Bartimaeus, uh, they would have took him to Jesus. Uh -huh. But in other words, they're telling him to send him away or don't call out. Uh, see, many people got it wrong in the church. Uh, when folks act up in the church, they want to push him out and push him away. Uh, but that's the time they need to be drawn in. Can you say amen? amen? Because I don't care what problem a person have, I know Jesus can fix it. Yeah. Can you say amen? amen? Because if he fix me, the same Jesus that picked me up and turned me around is the same Jesus that can fix anyone else. Oh my God, it was hard for him to fix me. Amen. And if he can fix this knucklehead, amen, he can fix anybody in this room today. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Can anybody say amen? Is there anyone here that's been fixed by God? That's been changed by God? Amen. People tell me all the time, Pastor, I'll come when I get myself together. I tell them, man, you cannot get yourself together. If you can get yourself together, you don't need God. Amen, somebody. And someone had the nerve to tell me that God only helped those that help themselves. I said, brother, where you find that in the Bible? It was times where I could not help myself. Amen, somebody. I need a God when I couldn't help myself. Amen. If I can help myself, I don't need no help from God. But when I'm down in the pit, amen, when I see no end, no future, that's when I need God to step in right on time. Oh, my God. I had myself in such a bad situation that no way I was going to be able to bring myself out. But Minister Newton, that's when I begin to cry upon God and ask God to deliver me. God left me by myself, took people out of my area, and had me walking alone. My God, I felt like Jesus on the cross. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? But he said, I'm not forsaking you, but I'm preparing you. And I got to separate you from some folks that's trying to take you the wrong way. Amen, somebody. See, many times folks feel alone, but not realizing that God's got to get you alone to do what he wants you yeah. to do. Yeah. 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 I sold out hell, y'all ain't catching this. Huh? Yeah. See, sometimes people can get in your ear and discourage yeah. you yeah. when God tried to encourage you. Uh, yeah. That's why David said, I encourage myself. Huh? Yeah. Because the people that David was with wanted to stone him and kill him. Huh? And so David said, I can't confide in these folks right here that I'm with. Huh? I just went to war with them. I just fought with them. Huh? I went to with the same people that's now trying to kill me. Uh, my God, ain't that something you can fight with folks uh, on, on their side? Next thing you know, they fighting against you? Yeah. 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 Amen. That's real, real. Uh, Minister, I, had a, I had a niece. I ain't going to say her name because they recorded. I might put this on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, but amen. She got into it with her boyfriend, uh, Minister Charlotte, and she called Uncle Lorenzo. Amen. Uh, and Uncle Lorenzo would come over there and fight for his nieces. Uh, 
what, what you doing slapping my knee? Oh, I woke him out. Uh, next thing I know, she on my back weighing me. <laughs> I come to fight this dude and she fight me. Oh, you beat them up too much. 